Welcome to the Mac Gallery Editor install tutorial. Now, after we downloaded the Mac Gallery software, we get a zip file like this. And the first thing we have to do is to extract all the files, which is what I do now. That takes a little while. Okay, now it's ready and we see four folders. The first one is the main CMS template. When we want to use the gallery and the gallery editor in the project, the only thing we have to do is to import this template and configure the template. There's nothing else to do after the plugin is set up once. Okay, then let's put in the plugin. This is the plugin folder and I will copy that and bring it to the target location in management server ASP plugins. So I paste it there and let's have a look at the the other folders that we extracted. There's the demo project. The demo project is just an XML export, an XML project export from Red Dot. So you can import that project um, in, your, in order to use it. And here's the complete documentation. So um, I already imported this project. So let's go to the CMS server open the CMS in the browser and this is what the demo project looks like. It's um, just two content classes. It's the master page and the mug gallery. This is the content class which is based on the template um, in the export, which I've showed you. In the project export, it's already contained. So, what we need is a folder where all the galleries are stored. This is always a folder called Mac Galleries. Each project using this needs to have this folder. In order to make this work, it is just an exported version, the, um, the path may not be valid on your system, you might want to edit this folder. and select a valid path for storing your assets. Um, it's completely up to you where you do that. I would choose, I just have a projects folder in open text. I would do something like Mac gallery demo and assets no. assets Mac galleries. Okay. Let's close and open it. Now we see this path was valid. So we can just start configuring the template. The whole configuration is done within this Mac gallery template. And um, this is the whole code which is needed for the plugin and this is the setup and, and settings section. So um, we have the path to the gallery plugin so um, that the system knows where it is installed. Maybe your path differs from this one. This is just from a standard installation and this is the place where we put this folder from the zip file and this is the place where the images are stored 
right after they are uploaded and before they are imported to CMS. So I just selected a folder below Mac Gallery, so below the plugin. You may use some, some different folder. In case of a cluster installation, you may use a network folder as well. Then the plugin supports reading image descriptions from EXIF. We can set this to true if we have the EXIF options um, for, for PHP activated. You can read more in the documentation, in the install documentation regarding this point. Um, these two settings are, are just specific to this EXIF functionality, but you don't really need that. In the standard case, the image descriptions are first read from the file names and you can change them afterwards. Okay, this point is yeah, belongs to the system and this is where it gets interesting. We have the size for the image which is uploaded and for the thumbnail which is created. So in this case we want to have um, a gallery with all images that have the same height. The width is, um, if, if we would take the width, we would have uh, a gallery with differing heights and that would look quite ugly in most cases. I guess normally nobody would want to use the, 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 the width for scaling instead, but we left it here in case you have some, some special requirement and need that later on. You can find in the documentation how to change this, but this standard setting should be sufficient. So here is where you put the standard height for, for scaling your images. The resize quality, this is percent, and um, yeah, the same for the thumbnails. Yo, this is almost all. Um, this is a text element. In this text element, the plugin will store your, um, your galleries and that's about all regarding the installation. We are up and running and now it's time to use the gallery plugin. Thanks for watching.